Hi guys and welcome back to another highly awaited hair tutorial. Today we're gonna go through a couple of different hairstyles and I'm gonna show you how I draw them obviously and I'm gonna explain how I do it. So I really hope that you're gonna enjoy it. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with something pretty simple, straight shoulder length hair. I'm usually starting off the whole process with deciding where the parting is gonna be. This time I'm going for middle parting. Then I'm just roughly outlining the shape of my today's hairstyle. And here's the tip, remember to always leave some space between the head sketch you did and the hairstyle you're gonna draw. So it looks natural and kind of voluminous at the same time. I actually almost never draw the hairstyles that are stick to the head shape, so to say, unless I'm going for a sleek ponytail look or something along those lines. Anyway, I'm continuing on with sketching the hairline first and then drawing particular hair strands and, you know, focusing on everything at the same time, kind of. In each hairstyle I'll be drawing today, the most important thing is to sketch quite loosely and lightly. You want to mimic the flowiness of the hairstyle as much as possible. And well, in this manner, our first hairstyle sketch is pretty much complete. Of course, you can go ahead and color it, but I'm gonna show you the coloring more in depth on the next hairstyle. And the next hairstyle we're gonna be drawing is just a bit more complex than the first one. We're gonna be drawing medium length wavy hair with side parting. Here I'm also starting off with sectioning the hair into left and right part and then I'm just loosely sketching the outline of the whole hairstyle. Whenever you're drawing waves or curls, it's super super important that you draw them irregularly. And well, it actually kind of applies to any hair type or hairstyle you're drawing. You really don't want to be too precise and too regular because that will make your hairstyle look very fake. Well, unless it's the effect that you're going for. And here, obviously, since we're drawing waves, it's a little bit more complicated than straight hair. If you have problems imagining how wavy hair looks like on a person and how would they basically go to look natural, I really advise you looking up some references on Pinterest, for example. I'm sure you're gonna find some good examples. And now once I'm done with the sketch, I'm just gonna outline the whole hairstyle with black fineliner. So now we're moving on into coloring. As a base, I'm gonna use medium brown color. I'm coloring everything quite evenly, but with my marker, I'm following the directions of the waves. I'm just trying to mimic their shape. This method is gonna give us a perfect base for shading later on because we're already gonna have a very nice shape of our hairstyles so we won't spend as much time on coloring with colored pencils as we would if we colored those hair strands totally straight. I really hope that makes sense. Anyway, once we're done with the base, we're gonna apply a slightly darker shade to the areas that would get less light. I mostly mean the hair around the neck, at the roots and the places where the waves are twisting. Now I'm going to add some shading with a brown colored pencil to even out the coloring and add some loose strands to the hairstyle. This step will really take our drawing to the next level. For highlights, I like to work with a peach toned color pencil because it gives me a softer finish than a white pencil would. I find white pencil a little bit too harsh for darker hair colors. So I'm applying a couple of highlights all over the hairstyle. And well, this is how we're pretty much finished. Now we're gonna sketch an updo. Here again I'm starting with the parting of the hairstyle. When you're drawing updos, you really want to keep the volume of the hairstyle just like in the first example. You want to draw the hair a couple of millimeters away from the head sketch. 
And in this hairstyle, I'm gonna be drawing two space buns. Notice how much of flowiness and loose hair strands I'm adding to the hairstyle in order to make it look natural and a little bit more messy. Now it's finally the time for curly hair. Curly hair are probably one of the hardest hairstyles to finesse in my opinion. I figured that what works for me the best is if I start off with outlining the whole shape of the hair. I'm sometimes even trying to define the shape of this hairstyle as some geometric figure. And since curly hair are usually thick and voluminous, the hairstyle will be quite big and puffy. So the method with using geometric figures really helps at first. And also I'm not doing too much in the sketching part because I will add all the details to my hairstyle with colored pencils later on. And now I'm gonna apply the base color to my hairstyle and in this case I'm using a caramel shade. Already at this stage I'm trying to mimic the texture of the hair with my marker strokes. Here again try to be quite loose and irregular with your coloring. Because already at this point you want to create a very good base for further coloring. And once I do this first layer, I'm adding another layer of curls with the same marker, just to add a little bit more depth and texture to my hair cell. I'm doing it in the same direction, but I'm just adding more irregular curls. And once I'm done with that, I'm taking a color pencil that is just a tad bit darker than the marker shade I just used. With this pencil, I'm once again mimicking the shape and the texture of the curls all over the hairstyle. Here, instead of focusing on creating a perfect individual curly hair strokes, I'm rather trying to create a unique texture of curls all over the hairstyle. I really hope that makes sense. So I'm redoing this step over and over again and I'm also adding more marker color in between. Just trying to blend everything together but still keeping the texture of the curls visible. At the end of coloring, I'm really focusing on the ends of the hairstyle because I don't want to leave them sharp. I want to leave them as bouncy and as curly as the rest of the hairstyle. So please keep that in mind because it's actually quite important. And after a while, we're pretty much done with our curly hairstyle. Next off, we're onto another quite difficult hairstyle, braids. Here the most important thing is to section the hair correctly into those thicker strands that later on we're gonna turn into individual braids. Here we obviously want to mimic the weight of each braid and design them in a manner that you can feel like they are coming from each spot on the head. And again, I really hope that makes sense. I'm really trying my best to explain it in the best possible way. But believe me, it is quite complicated both to explain and to draw it. But here again, if you can't do it from your imagination at first, just try to look up a couple of references to see how braids work. So now once we have those basic shapes of the braids, what we're gonna do is obviously color them. Since I want my hair color to be black, I'm gonna go for dark grey color at first. Not for black as you might think, because if I go for black color first, I won't be able to add any details later on because black is just way too saturated to make any other color be visible on top of it. 
So that's why a dark gray is your best friend when drawing black hair. And now with a slightly darker color, I'm shading my hairstyle a little bit. Around the neck area and a little in between a couple of random braids. Then I'm taking the first shade that I used and I'm doing those little dot-like strokes on each braid to mimic how they are braided, if that makes sense. This is gonna really help us later on. And now this is our base coloring. The rest of the coloring and the details I'm gonna add using black pencil. And here what is actually really important is that we don't want to realistically draw and color each and every braid. We just want to create an impression of a hairstyle that is a braided hairstyle as a whole, if that makes sense. It's really not gonna be necessary to draw super realistically each and every single braid. I would even risk saying that it's gonna be too much for such kind of drawing. Unless obviously if you're going for something hyper realistic or if that's just something what you're into. So the only braids that I'm gonna draw the braiding and the details quite precisely on are the front braids and a couple of the braids in the back. And at the very end of drawing, I'm adding some highlights with light grey pencil to a couple of random braids. And I'm also adding a couple of beads in between to spice the hairstyle up. And lastly, we're gonna try drawing regular braids. Here I'm going for middle parting again, and also I'm leaving some space in between the head and the hairstyle, just for the volume and for overall look. I think that the key to success in this hairstyle is not to make the braids straight. Give them some weight and curve so they loosely follow the shoulder area. And always remember that the braids are gonna get thinner once they reach the end of the hair. And also when it comes to this hairstyle and any other updos in general, I always like to add a couple of loosely following hair to make this hairstyle less perfect and more messy and natural. And for this hairstyle I picked a very fun color because it's gonna be pink. Here the shading is gonna be pretty simple honestly because first of all I'm doing the base color and then I'm gonna add a little bit of shading with the colored pencil. Here what can be quite complicated for you at first is how braids are actually braided. It takes some time to get used to drawing them, but once you practice a little bit I think you'll be fine and you'll remember how to draw them correctly. And well, with a little bit of time and finessing, our final hairstyle is done! And well, that would be pretty much all for my today's hair tutorial. I really hope that you guys found it helpful and that you basically enjoyed it. Let me know which hairstyle is the hardest for you to draw and which one you find the easiest. And now, thank you guys so so much for watching, I love you all and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Please stay safe, take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye! I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now.